Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code Zerk for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. I did not expect to be making a video about this today, but the All Madden Special Set Player is finally here. EA never gave us a teaser, never told us it was going to drop today, but it is today, and it's Ken Stabler. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Big Steve-O for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn notifications below, and comment down below, Noti Gang. So guys, my NBA picks for today are up right now over on Twitter, so if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to match your first deposit up to $100, and follow me over on Twitter for my picks. There also is a new special available for March Madness on Underdog Fantasy. Head down to the comment section, go to the Underdog Discord, fill out the google link that you guys will find under announcements and you guys are signed up for the march madness special and you can vote after selection sunday for which team you want to receive a booster for every single match as long as they continue to go on throughout the rest of the tourney so as you guys can see the all madden special player set is finally here it is ken stabler a couple things i want to say number one if you have dave casper Dion, and gronk and you're trying to do the set and it's not popping up for you that you have the players downgrade them and take them out of your lineup okay because trust me i made the same mistake so yeah is what it is there make sure you go ahead uh remove dave casper Dion, and gronk from your lineup unpower them up all that good stuff and complete the set now you guys can see a good thing is and we were really really curious about this do you get the players back are you any you know losing anything here uh, you're not losing anything at all. You do get Casper, Dion, and Gronk back. So let's go ahead. We'll do the set right here. And we do get 99 overall Ken Stabler. So let's take a look here at Ken Stabler. As you guys can see in round number one, you get Stabler. Now, what is his release? He has Slinger 3. I will let you guys know right now. I've been very busy today doing all the other videos that I plan to do today, which... I may have another video out over here today. I may have to push it until tomorrow, but uh, I'm doing a gameplay with Ken Stabler right now, right after I upload this video. So check out Xerxy2. I will have Ken Stabler in the gameplay. I was going to do Josh Allen along with some other players. I'm going to do Stabler along with some Team of the Year players here. Uh, and then you do get the players back. So you get Gronk back, you get Dion back, you get Dave Casper back. Awesome to see there. Now, Ken Stabler himself, though... I will say this, he's left-handed. Now, so is Leon Sandcastle, and I have to say this as well, when it comes to Leon versus Ken Stabler, you guys can see the stats, and here's why I'm comparing these two, why it actually matters. Accuracy, everything, literally everything goes to Ken Stabler. Throw power, the same. Speed does go to Leon, but they both have the same exact release, and they're both left-handed. So, it pretty much comes down to abilities after that, and Ken Stabler is the best quarterback in the game when it comes to his ability buckets because if we take a look here at his abilities guys you can see right here number one he gets all 32 team cams okay so that's awesome i personally run uh legends but if you have a theme team there you go you have a new quarterback for the theme team right uh abilities he does get some of these ones that start on i don't really care for that i run omaha there uh but he gets some really good abilities in the other buckets you guys can see he has six ability buckets right here set feet lead for one high route master for one fearless for one and gunslinger for zero okay Number two, we get set feet lead, fearless, and high master, all for one AP. And then he gets set feet lead for one, high master for one, fearless for one, conductor for two, gunslinger for three. So obviously you want to use high master, fearless, or uh, set feet lead. And then in this one, again, he gets fearless for one. So you're telling me that you can get a quarterback. This is the stack you want to run right here. Fearless for one AP, although I will admit I am, again, you know, I say it quite a bit, a part of the group that doesn't think you need fearless right now, but I mean, for one AP, it's one AP, man. That's insane set feet lead again for one ap and then you can run hot route master for one ap and gunslinger for three ap total so although i'm not a fan of left-handed qbs especially when it comes to uh scrambling you know because a lot of people like to send pressure off that left side you want to roll away from the pressure and you can't really do that when you're left-handed because trying to throw to the right when you're left hand with the quarterback doesn't really work out too well a lot of people are okay with it. A lot of people like Michael Vick. They like their left-handed quarterbacks. I prefer right-handed quarterbacks. But getting the stack of Slinger, Howard Master, Sefi Lead, and Fearless for a total of only 3 AP 
and he has in my opinion the best release in the game with slinger 3 uh and he has 90 speed with incredible throwing stats 97 throw power just the best quarterback in the game I went and threw Ken Stable into my team so you guys can see him with all of the boosts that I actually have available. As I said, I do run Legends Team Ken, but I don't have, you know, full 40 out of 40. I do have 31 out of 40 Legends Team Ken, and then I also have some strategy cards that do boost uh, my quarterback. So here are his stats now with all the boosts that I have available to him. Uh, you can see the throw power, all that stuff pretty much stayed the same, but he does have 92 Excel now, 90 speed, uh, 83 carrying as well, 90 change direction, 90 break tackle, 82 breaks sack uh like i said i think this is the best quarterback in the game now i'm curious to know though what you guys think about this because here's a couple of things okay number one you had to be able to play season one season two and season three if you didn't play season one season two season three you can't get ken stabler the card's bnd you're not gonna see one on the auction house the only way to ever get this card is to have played the entire year and gotten all the players okay number two though it's a quarterback now this is the best quarterback in the game in my opinion having this ability stack is just insane with really good speed at 90 speed a good throw power as well and in my opinion the best release in the game this makes him the best qb to me and also having all the team cams including legends is really really cool there but it's a quarterback right and ea loves their quarterbacks we are going to get some better quarterbacks probably relatively soon it's only a matter of time until ea starts pushing out all these ultimate legend qbs that also get slinger three or if you're more of a slinger one type of person they'll continue to push out slinger one quarterbacks and someone else is going to be able to get this stack here very very relatively soon right so i will say i maybe would have personally preferred if the all madden player was a receiver or a running back or uh, a cornerback someone on the defense side of the ball something like that someone you're gonna get more longevity out of and you could say okay you know this is randy moss all right well they're the best wide receiver in the game for the rest of the year or at least uh one of the absolute best wide receivers in the game for the rest of the year we will get a bunch of quarterbacks that have the same stats the same ability buckets and that are faster and probably right-handed which i would prefer a right-handed quarterback over ken stabler so that's kind of my take on it uh i i maybe wish he was auctionable as well to be honest with you guys you know really really reward the people that play season one season two season three and allow you to sell off the card you know if you don't want ken stabler then okay sell the card and you can make some coins but uh that's just not the case but again it's the best quarterback in the game right now is what it is there but as i said i'm definitely doing a gameplay today so to my second channel xerxy2 uh stabler i'll do stabler micah i think tyreek hill and uh there was another receiver i think i wanted to pick up i think jamar chase was the other receiver that i wanted to pick up for that gameplay so i guess instead of josh allen i'll do ken stabler and then tomorrow i'll likely do another gameplay with maybe josh allen and some other players as well so with that being said guys hope you enjoy drop a like on it hit that sub button down below and let me know what you think about ea's choice of making a ken stabler making it bnd and just overall, what you think about the actual stats on it. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.